Hi friends, it's Carol here. I hope you're doing good. Uh, today, I think we're gonna do a sketchbook tour. I got this big box of sketchbook from, I don't know, I think it's been a couple of years that I have it. I, I collect all my drawings that I can remember I've done, you know? And uh, I thought we could take a look at this one together. All right. So here it is, the little book. Um, I don't exactly remember what type of sketchbook it is, but I think it's a, oh, you know, it's a Canton here. And I think if I remember well, it's a uh, mixed media one. But I painted on top, so yeah. So yeah, this is a collection of Inktober's that I did from 2019 to 2020. And so yeah, let's get to it. This was the first one. The theme was fairy. And I remember I was not super happy with this one. It was not exactly the style I wanted for the Inktober series. So the second one was way better. <laughs> this was more in line with what I wanted to do. I use, uh, for this one I use just ink and uh, a little bit of cold erase pencil and um, also a masking gum uh, that I use to just have some highlights in some places that I didn't want some ink in there. I didn't write a team for all of them, unfortunately, so I don't remember exactly what it is. This one is one of my favorite. <laughs> I remember having a lot of fun with this process. And you can see also that sometimes I use a gel pen like this. Pretty proud of, I remember. I really like this one. You can see that some of them are more messy than others. You can see that I used probably a lot of water here and we're kind of losing a bit of our skirt. Well, that's okay. I think I was just using like a, a lid of something like this. This is a coaster that I kind of use to often do circles around. Kind of focus the attention there. Little mushroom lady. A lot of it 
was only done with um, ink, water, and just a little watercolor brush like this. But sometimes I use a Pentel brushman to to just add some darker lines when I want to be more precise. It's just a brush pen like this, a brush tip. But it's mainly done only by a um, traditional watercolor brush. I think this one was one of my favorite things over years, to be honest. I really like what I did. I like how the ink is almost black, you know, in darker spots, but when it gets washed out with water, it's kind of a bluish color. I really love it. I think it was just a like very normal ink that I got in a calligraphy set. So I don't remember the brand. But nowadays I often use ankle lines. This one is green, but I have one that is black and it has a blue tint to it also when it's washed out a bit and I like them. was the first one of Inktober for 2020. I remember that at first I was not super happy with this one, but at the end of it, I was kind of happy. I like the way the water worked with the ink there. I think it's cool. I remember for this year, I really wanted to work more on my storytelling. So I tried to incorporate more story even if it was just you know in my mind they're a bit more elaborate sometimes I think that probably to get this effect I'm guessing that I probably mixed the ink with gouache or white watercolor because I don't really know how I would have done this Either way, I'm pretty sure I did that. Or just using white ink. I think I've definitely grown as an artist since I'm since this time, you know. It's been three to four years. But it's really fun to see the stories and Inktober for me is always like a ton of fun. I'm just experimenting. It's one of my favorite art times of the year if I can say.
You can see it, sometimes I broke the paper with my tape. Even though it's a good paper, it's not perfect. But that's okay, it's a sketchbook. It's not meant to be perfect. This one is very busy. I really love the happy accidents you get sometimes from using ink. And this one we don't really see what it is. I think it's a kind of box. Not all of them are perfect, you know. Some of them are really like, some of them are okay. That's part of the deal. You can see that probably I ran out of ink because it's not the same at all. I think this was classic Indian ink and I did not really like how grainy it looked. I think the drawing is okay, but you can see that the finish is not as smooth as the other ones. This is another, I think this is what I ended up using after my bottle of ink was just ran out, you know, it's a, and I think this one is the black echo line, I kind of like it. Ah, this one was another test, but I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of shiny. It has some glitter in it. I really hate it. It's, you know, I think it's very specific type of project you can do with it. Not my type of, yeah, not my cup of tea. I prefer this one. This is really more my type of ink. This is really more flowy. I prefer this medium. I love that. Those textures are really fun. Oh, and that was the last one. Was it on the third one? 27. So I guess that the other ones are in another sketchbook. That was it. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah. See you on another time. Bye bye.